the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, Lord. We turn our glory back unto you. We thank you, Lord, for past messages. We thank you, Lord, for today's message in continuation of our messages on grace. Father, I say my thanks in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I commit every family, every person who to listen to this message all over the world. Father, King of glory, as they listen, Father, sanctify their heart. Bless all home. Bless all families. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Through this message, let every problem in our family, let there be divine resolution. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are the word that heals. Let every home that are broken, let there be divine resolution. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty wonderful name, I pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This week, in continuation of our series on the power of grace in the family, we shall be looking at grace and availability in a good marriage. Grace and availability in a good marriage. You know, we've been talking about grace for the past few weeks. The word of God says in Luke chapter 4, verse 38 to 39, Jesus left the synagogue and went to the home of Simon. Now Simon's mother-in-law was suffering from a high fever, and they asked Jesus to help her. Verse 39, so he bent over her and he broke the fever. He left her and she got up at once and began to wait on the praise the Lord. The availability of Simon Peter made it possible for him and his family to have experienced the divine visitation of Jesus Christ to his house. Yeah, because Peter was available. He was one of the disciples. He made himself available for God's use and see the Lord. Praise the Lord. The word of God said Jesus left the synagogue and went to the home of Simon. Jesus couldn't have gone there if Simon was not his disciple. But he took it because Simon has left what he was doing. He was a fisherman before that time. And being God know he's already serving him, working for him. So God also needs to attend to his needs. Praise the Lord. When you are available for God's use, either for physical use or financial use, the grace of God for you and your family will abound more. Peter and his family couldn't have experienced that visitation if he had run away from God's work. If Peter has run away the day he met Jesus Christ, the other encounter at the at the shore. When Jesus told him to launch into the deep, if he had run away, he wouldn't have, the family wouldn't have enjoyed the divine station. Praise the Lord. Your availability for God's use carry more grace for you and your family than when you are not available. When you are available for his use, you become so special to him. Jesus Christ left the synagogue to go and attend to Simon Peter's modern lost health problem. This is because Peter was a carrier of God's grace as a vessel unto honor. You have explained that Peter was a disciple and he made himself available. He has left everything to follow God. So when it was his turn for God also to do his own, his own pattern to him and his family, God also made himself available by that divine physician. Praise the Lord. The word of God says in Judges chapter 6, verse 16. The Lord answered, I will be with you. You will strike down all the Midianites together. Gideon was another man who made himself available for God's use. And we could see that God gave him his word of assurance that I will be with you. When you are available for God's use, God, when God says I'm going to be available for you, he will be available in every areas. God will never leave you because you are already available for God's use. Praise the Lord. The word of assurance from God to Gideon carry the power of grace to succeed and not to fail. Our availability for God's use should not be by force, but by genuine willingness to work for God physically and through our substances too. Nobody, don't let people coerce you, don't let people force you. You should you make it a point of view to be happy you want to, that you want to make yourself available for God's use. When you are doing God's work, be happy doing it. Don't, don't do it as if don't do it as out of annoyance. No. Don't do it out of hatred. No. Do it with joy. You and your family. Do it with all joy. With all love. Praise the Lord. When you and your family run away from God's word, it limits your level of grace from God's too. When you run away, the grace, the grace will be there, but it will be a little, it, the, it, the level you can't compare to somebody who has made the level for God's use. You can't compare. The two cannot be compared. Praise the Lord. Mm. 
Hallelujah. The word of God says in Luke chapter 5 verse 10, And so were James and John, the sons of Zebedee, Simon's partner. Then Jesus said to Simon, Don't be afraid. From now on, you will catch men. The sons of Zebedee made themselves available for God's use. And Jesus gave them a word of grace, which was, don't be afraid, which means everywhere they go, the grace of God will follow them. Praise the Lord. When you are available, the grace of God follows you. It be, even, even the grace will even be there before you even get to where you are going. You and your family, the grace will be there to see you through. Brethren, if you and your family equally want to enjoy a higher grace in life, then make yourself and your family available for God's use always. The more the availability, the greater the grace that will be available for you and your family too. Praise the Lord. Choose. Make a choice. Choose to be available, you and your family, in order to enjoy the higher grace of God. When you and your family are available, His grace too in your family will be unlimited. This is because the word of God says in Psalm 115 verse 3, Our God is in heaven. He does whatever pleases Him. Your availability gives you higher grace, gives you grace unlimited, it makes your grace to be special, makes your grace to be unique because you have you and your family you are available physically and with your substance. Praise the Lord. I pray the grace for you to be available. The Lord will grant it unto you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Next week will be another time for us to discuss again if the Lord tarry. Let us pray. Everlasting Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for this message on grace and availability. Father, King of Glory, I separate thanks in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I commit every soul that have had this message. Father, bless them. Bless their marriage. Bless their family. King of Glory, every area, whatever is ending them from making them to be available for your use, Father, remove those barriers. Remove those things from their life. Remove those things from their family. From today, as they turn in Italy, Father, bless them. Release more grace upon them and their family. Let your grace be unlimited over them. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty wonderful name, I pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.